Hi guys. Many of you have been asking me, how do you reach level 100 so quickly? How do I get better in murderers versus sheriffs? If you're a beginner or someone who wants to upgrade their mev skills, this video is for you. I would be going through various tips and tricks to help you become better in mevs. I'll also be making a separate video on how to reach level 100 quickly, so stay tuned. Without further ado, let's get started. Tip number one. Make use of the walls and corners in every map. What I like to do is stay behind the walls like this. Now here's the important part. A common mistake that many people do is to just stay near a wall, peek out a little, then throw. Some lazier ones just start throwing on the spot like this. This makes you a very easy target to the enemy team. It's actually very easy to get shot by a sheriff as you can see here. Do this instead. Doing this would lower the chances of you getting shot or killed by a knife throw. Which gives you a better kill, death ratio. It's going to be helpful if you want to be the MVP. Tip number 2. Run in zigzag motion and jump more. This tip is actually given by Atlamates who commented on one of my videos. So shout out to her, this tip is very very helpful. Now, let me show you the difference between normal movement versus zigzag movement. Normal movement, easier to get shot, since they know where you're going. Now let me show you all zigzag motion. My bad, let's try that again. Ha 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 ha, you guys see that? So, all in all, run in zigzag motion and jump more. Tip number 3. If you're on mobile, take note of what kind of thumbstick you have. Thumbsticks can make a huge difference in your gameplay, so choose the one that you are most comfortable with. There are two common thumbsticks people use. 1. Dynamic thumbstick. 2. Classic Thumbstick Let me show you their difference. The Dynamic Thumbstick allows you to move from anywhere that is within the rectangular space. Personally, I don't use this thumbstick because I use my fingers to move the screen on many places on my tablet. So I might accidentally move on accident which can disrupt my performance. Whereas for the Classic Thumbstick, they limit the area where you can move from. You can only move from this small area, compared to the large area of the dynamic thumbstick. This allows me to move easily without worrying about accidentally moving. Which thumbstick do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. Tip number 4. Make your weapon less visible. You can change the color of your knife or gun according to the colors of the map you're playing in to camouflage better, especially if you're wall camping. If you're in dark maps like Farm or Tundra, brightly colored weapons may make you an easier target. Look how obvious I look, even from afar. This is how bright colored weapons look in Tundra, even more obvious. So if you keep dying even when you're hiding behind walls, it may have something to do with your weapon color. Hey he I got revenge. Subscribe or I shoot you next. So guys, if you do not want to look too obvious, make your weapon camouflage with the map. In places like farm or tundra, change your weapon into a darker color. That way you won't look as noticeable and you can win. Heavy. This is so helpful especially in tundra, just look at the difference. Tip number 5. Buy the Speed Boost Game Pass. It costs 200 Robux, which is quite a lot but trust me it's so worth the money. It allows you to run faster than normal players and kings, which makes it easier for you to get kills. You can use boost to outrun the king and become the king yourself. Excessive usage of boost can make some players unhappy, so be careful. Tip number 6. Keep your fingernails short. 
Some of you may enjoy having long and pretty nails, so do I. Even though long nails are pretty, it's quite difficult to play with them on whether on PC or mobile. This is based on my personal experience so I'm not too sure if this applies to everyone haha. -ha. But if you're like me, what you can do is, 1. Trim your nails often or, 2. Get shorter manicures or press on nails. Final tip. Practice. 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 Nobody would be instantly good when they're new to this game, including me. I remember starting out as a sheriff who plays in first-person mode haha, but later on realized that the murderer's team suit me more. Once Lay Veiling was introduced to the game, I initially didn't care and barely played the game until I saw someone with the lightning skin for the first time. That really motivated me, so I started playing every single day for almost three months straight. I went through many failures, deaths throughout this period and I guess that's how I became better today. I'm definitely still learning and improving my gameplay though. I hope this video helps those of you who want to improve. If you guys have any other tips to share, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all soon.